Hi, James Melendez, James the Wine Guy, here to share and celebrate this bottle of wine with you today. This is from the Republic of Georgia, and uh, always exciting to find a bottle from this wine region, this very old wine region, probably the oldest on the planet, about 8,000 years old, and that's uh, verified through archaeological evidence. And um, so here we go. This wine grape is a Saparavi, and I uh, love the Georgian script here. It's absolutely beautiful, and uh, 2007 vintage. Uh, the producer is called Wine Man. And 12% um, alcohol content. Here we go. Back panel for your review here. This is bottled. This is 2007 vintage. It is a 2010 bottling. And um, here in the description it says it spends time in oak. Now, I am suspecting that this also spent time in a cavevery. So that's a clay vessel, ancient clay vessel. And um, it's a heritage mark of the Republic of Georgia. So you see here it's uh, in the ground. So it's a constant temperature year round. Um, I, I've never been, I, I want to go and see what this experience is like and being served out of this clay vessel. I think it's a really great way to um, vinify wine. And um, I, I think it's just a, it's a really interesting grape as well. Saparavi is a grape that is considered a tenturier, which would mean that it is a grape that has coloration to the pulp itself. So it has pigment. And uh, there's only about five grapes, probably, you know, maybe a few others, um, but the, the ones that come to mind are the Alicante Boucher Saparavi, this grape here, the Dunkelfelder and the Dornfelder, the uh, Norton grape as well. And uh, for me, it's a really definitively wonderful grape. So when you have this 8,000 year period of uh, vinifying wine, I, I have to wonder what was the wine grape that was produced? Was it this one? Was it another one? Um, when I've seen Dr. Uh, Carol Meredith, the wine geneticist, uh, now retired from UC Davis, I've asked her, what is the oldest wine grape? And she said, could be Pinot Noir, but she doesn't know. Exactly. Nobody knows, to be fair. And um, it's a great thing to figure this out. I hope we can someday. And uh, But for me, I, I put um, mouth to glass and, and really, what is, could this possibly be it? It's a really uniquely, characteristically different wine. You're not tasting Cabernet, not Merlot, not Syrah, not Sangiovese or Tempranillo or anything else. It is Saparavi. And uh, here we go. I'll take a taste of this wine and give you some flavor characteristics as well as a point score. Here we go. Mm. Definitive notes of black and red cherry, hints of strawberry, game, tamarind, brown mushroom, lavender, and violets and uh, fresh ground baking spices. I give this wine a 9.0 out of a 10.0 scale, or 90 out of a 100 point scale, whichever you prefer to subscribe to. And uh, for more wine reviews, please go to jamesthewineguy.com. Subscribe to my videos on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo, Google+, Pinterest. Salud.